How much difference might it make sowing at different phases of the moon? So I'm talking about waxing and waning only here. There's many other aspects of moon movement. And these celera I sowed two days before the full moon in the middle of March. And that's by some studies reckoned to be a very favorable time for maximum growth. And this is a result. So all of these were sown 12th of March, I think it was, the full moon was 14th, and that's catching the full waxing energy of the moon. And to my eye, they're looking bigger. This is a kind of exploratory video. Um, someone on Facebook actually asked me, would I do something about this? And I've always been interested in it, but it's actually quite hard, surprisingly hard to get firm evidence because there's so many variables always. Uh, but this, this does look quite different. You'll see in a minute, I want to show you some that I saw after full moon. Uh, I just mentioned in passing, these are sweet potatoes, which are still looking okay. And I'll make a video about their harvest. I hope there will be a harvest later in the month because I found here that over the years, sweet potatoes are incredibly difficult to actually get a harvest, unlike celeriac, say. So these ones were sown a week later. So obviously it's not everything the same. They were sown a week later, but you can't do this trial without having a small difference in sowing date. Uh, it was 18th of March, or six days later, and they are just looking a bit smaller. And as Nicola was just saying, in a slightly different shape. Uh, so it may be that when we harvest them, perhaps these will be just as heavy. I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll follow this one up in about a month's time. We're coming up to time to harvest celeriac, but actually if you look at them, you can see how healthy the leaves are, particularly the central leaves here. There's a lot of potential growth still to happen. And so if you've got celeriac in the ground and they're still not, they may not be as big as these, but don't despair, they can actually put on quite a bit of weight in uh, even into November in mild areas anyway. And also don't worry too much about deleafing. Uh, you know, that way well, you could take off, but I'm finding over the years I do it less on celeriac because they, these leaves stay pretty green and they're not really getting in the way, they're not attracting slugs or anything. And so just enjoy them in situ and hopefully watch them swell some more.